Today, we're not only going to map out your customer's journey from start to finish in your restaurant, but I'm also going to give you the seven-step customer service system that goes along with it. Let's do it. Hey there, Dave Allred, The Real Barman here. I'm excited about today's video because I'm going to show you how to map out your customer's journey in your restaurant from the moment they walk in to the moment they leave. So I'm going to do a little mini training, if you will, here today. And the benefit here, of course, is that by mapping all of this out step by step, you and your employees know exactly what they should be doing at all times so that your guests are well taken care of. Now, I should be clear. Okay, with the direction that bars and restaurants are headed these days with the QR menu codes and the order and pay right from the table on your phones, all right, this system that I'm about to reveal is built upon these mobile order and pay systems like Order Patrol. It is the way of the future and you're about to see why. Okay, it's efficient, it's going to increase your sales, it's going to lower your labor, it's going to increase your table turnover. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly how this customer journey works using a mobile order and pay system like Order Patrol. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm just going to get out of the way here and make myself small. There we go. So with a mobile order and pay system, the servers aren't going to be taking orders and entering them into the POS like they have always done. Okay, and this is going to cut down on labor for you. So the way this works is when you get into the system, so when you get into Order Patrol, you're going to set up your menu in the back end right here. And once you enter all of your items, you're just going to go down here to Menu Configuration. That's your QR code. You're going to hit Download, and then you're just going to print them out. You can put them on table tents. You can put them actually right on the table. It's completely up to you. Now, in just a bit, I will address the POS question many of you may have, which is, I already have a POS system. Does Order Patrol implement with it? How do I record my sales, et cetera, et cetera? But for now, let's get into the seven-step customer journey uh, so you can see how this works. And what I love about this customer service system that we've set up, I'm actually going to make myself bigger here. I put that title at the bottom, probably wasn't too smart. So a little bit bigger, there we go. What I love about this system is the teamwork aspect. It is so healthy for your company culture to have teamwork in which everyone's working toward a common goal. Okay, the traditional system is all the servers have their own sections, they're very protective of their sections, they're segmented, and the guests suffer because there's other servers going, well, that's not my section, I don't have to help them. Even though you're preaching teamwork, they don't really do it. In this case, Everyone's involved, your staff's excited, the customer's excited, they're being taken care of, and you're excited because the staff's doing what they're supposed to be, be doing. So let me show you what I mean by that. Step one is going to be greet the, greet the guests within 10 seconds of walking through the door. Okay, this doesn't differ from my past customer service system. Greeting them quickly is extremely important. So if you have a host or hostess, this is easy. If you don't, Someone else needs to, and it can be anyone, okay? It can be a host, server, bartender, manager, anyone walking by. In my system, I actually like not having a host because I don't think you need it, but you can run your restaurant any way you want. But if the servers are roaming, as we will, as I'll show you here in a minute, they're, they'll be sweeping through the restaurant. Uh, anyone, walk through the door, closest person. Hey, how you guys doing? All right, sit, sit anywhere you want. Or if it's wait to be seated, hey, uh, give me a second. Let me see where I can seat you guys. Anyone that's roaming, greets them right away. This is extremely important. I'm going to tell you why. I've talked about this study in the past. I'm going to talk about it again. Okay, A very famous university did a study in which they ran a few hundred people through a restaurant and gave them like a 90-minute experience. Okay, So they walk in. Uh, they get greeted by the host. They sit down. They have a full meal. And at the end, they give them a survey, and it's sectioned off by different things. Like, how was your experience? How was the food? How did it taste? How was the service? How fast did you get out of there? All these different things. Okay, so they rated it. And what they found was very interesting. 40% of their overall satisfaction came from three things. How quickly they were greeted at the door. How quickly they were greeted when they sat down. Refills, I'm sorry, there's actually four things, but the first two kind of go hand in hand. Greeted at the door, greeted when they sat down. Uh, how quickly they got refills. And then how quickly they got the check. 40% of their... 90 minute experience. That's like two minutes. That's like 0.2% of their overall experience there is 40% of their satisfaction. All right. That's mind blowing. People hate to wait. Okay. So when they walk in and you greet them right away, they immediately feel, feel special, especially when they've been to other places and they get ignored. Okay. So greeting them is very important. Greeting them when they sit down, you don't have to worry about the check anymore because with this system, they order and pay themselves at the table. So you've already eliminated that. Okay. On to step two, 
Step two is educate them. So now they've sat down. Now you need to let them know what to expect. Okay, you walk into a lot of places these days that have QR menu codes, and there's a lot of people still don't know what's going on, right? They sit down, and then the host leaves, and they're kind of like, well, where's our menus? And then finally someone's like, oh, yeah, you got to scan this QR code. People are still trying to figure stuff out. Okay, so make sure to communicate with them at all times. You sit them down, you say, hey, here's the QR menu code, scan that, it's going to pop up on your phone, you'll be able to order from our menu, place it in the cart, it'll send it off to the kitchen, the bar, and then you can pay right here, and just let you know, we're going to work as a team here, we're going to run your food, we're going to run your drinks, we're going to clear your table, we're going to get you refills, everyone's going to be working together to make sure you get great service, in fact, you're going to get better service than you've ever gotten before with the old traditional system. All right, let them know that even though they're ordering for themselves, they're going to be taken care of. And this is the stage where tips are earned. Okay, and I know a lot of people with the order and pay system at the table before they even get their food, they're like, well, how are my servers going to get tipped? This is it right here. All right, tell them the experience that they're going to have. Show them how enthusiastic you are. And when the tip pops up, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to tip them because they've already told me I'm going to get great service. This is where the tips are earned. So that's from the point of view of the staff. Now, what's the customer journey? What is it like from their side? I'm just going to show you really quick so you can visualize what that looks like. So this is what their online menu will look like. They scan the QR code, they get on here, they can scroll through their, your menu, and they can order in the, anything they want. Here we can add a code blue burger and ask them how they want it cooked. They can customize it any way they want. I'm going to add some bacon, some cheese. Want to hit cheese, all the cheeses drop down. I'll put some pepper jack on it. Uh, what side do I want? I want fries. And then I can make any special requests down here in, in the bottom. And then I just go add to the cart, and I can go through and add more. I'm not going to add a bunch right now. When we're ready, we go to checkout. And then it asks right here if you want to add the tip, all right? And now they've been, they're all excited about it. Like, oh, this is great. People love to order from this thing. They get all excited. Not to mention it eliminates server errors from taking the order and entering in, into the uh, POS system. These people are all doing it themselves, get sent off. It's very efficient. So we can sit, put 20%. We go to checkout. And now they can enter their credit card information, hit send. And now everything's paid for. And now when it's time to leave, they don't have to wait for, for their bill. They can leave whenever they want. They can order more whenever they want. That's how the system works from the customer's viewpoint. Okay, so let's get back to our steps. And I forgot to put this up here. We already talked about it. Everything you're going to educate them on, the QR code ordering, what kind of service they're going to get. Uh, so we'll leave that up there. Step three is check back within two minutes. Okay, and you're going to make sure everything went okay. Were you able to place your orders? You know, was anything confusing? Get some feedback from them. You know, is there anything else you need right now? Let them know that they're going to be well taken care of. And if they have placed their orders and their drink should have printed up somewhere, let them know, hey, your drink should be right out here. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Okay, step four is sweep. And this is the most important step. This is the meat of the customer service. All of your staff, all of your servers, whoever's involved in this is going to be circling, sweeping the entire time. They're greeting people when they come in. People pop in. They're stopping to greet them. Otherwise, they're sweeping tables. They're doing the four things that they already told the guests that they're going to do. They're going to run their food, run drinks, get them refills, clear their tables. It doesn't matter what table it is. They're doing it for all of them. They're just walking around looking for those four things constantly. They're going to the kitchen. They're going to the bar. They're running. If not, they're doing the other two things, refilling drinks, clearing tables. Okay, this is not a time for your service staff to use an excuse to do nothing because they don't have to take orders anymore. Quite the contrary. This is the time to provide the most personable customer service ever because a huge block of time has now been opened up for them, right? They don't have to take orders anymore. Okay, they're not asking questions. You know, how do you want that cooked? Uh, do you want fries? Do you want potato salad? Regular salad? Do you want mashed potatoes? Okay, you want no onions? For every single person on and on. And then they have to go to the POS system. They have to enter all of that. They have to wait in line while other servers are entering their stuff. And then at the end, they have to print the check. They have to drop the check. They have to keep circling when the credit card is finally there. Back to the POS system. They got to run the credit card or they have to get change, cash change for them. All of that's been removed. The entire system has been simplified. Okay, your entire service system now is just focused on those four things. Well, five things if you don't have a host because you'll be greeting and seating as well. Okay, and in just a minute, I'm going to talk about table sections or table stations. Do you still have them? Do you not? We'll cover that as well. Step five is reminders. Okay, as their food and drinks start to get low, now's the chance to come by and remind them, hey, you guys have the power. All right, jump on your phone. You want to order more drinks another round. You want to order dessert. You can do it at any time. This is going to increase your sales. You already have an advantage because it's a proven fact that people will order up to 30% more on their phones or online than they will from a human. 
All right, so you already have that in your wheelhouse. Now you're reminding them that they can order more if they want. A lot of times they'll just go ahead and order another round of drinks. Step six is the wind down. And this kind of goes hand in hand with reminders, but it's kind of later in the meal. Everything's been cleared off. They're just kind of sitting and chatting. Now you come by say, hey, if you guys want anything else, of course, you know you can order. Uh, otherwise, you can leave when you're ready to because it's already been paid. All right, because we kind of want to turn tables. So we're not doing it rudely, but we're just letting them know there's no bill. Remember, there's no bill. So you guys can leave if you want, or you can order more if you want. Get some feedback now. You know, could we've done anything better? Um, how did you like the system? And then we kind of learn and we can improve from there. And then step number seven, we are going to see them off. My customer service system is the same, uh, whether it's Order Patrol or the traditional. Greet them within 10 seconds and make sure we see them off when they leave. Okay, this makes them feel special. So in this system, any server, any manager, anyone in the area, any table gets up to leave, as many people as possible coming over. Hey, thanks for coming in. Uh, come in again and see us whenever you want. You know, it's like you're... Sending them off on a cruise, we want to make sure that they feel special, they feel like family. This is a chance to make them feel like, wow, that was a great experience, and they're coming to say goodbye to me. And then finally, I have a little bonus step for you, okay? When you have time, if you can do this, people are sweeping, people are circling, maybe you're a little slower right now, so we have a manager or a server, anyone can come by at any time and get personal with the table. You don't have to talk their ears off, but come by, hey, where do you guys live, where are you from, uh, what are you guys doing today? You know, do you have any kids? Just ask them some personal questions. Get to know them a little bit. This is a chance to really cement the relationship you have. You know, the cheapest marketing we want to achieve is getting repeat customers over and over again. It's so much cheaper than acquiring new customers. This is your chance to cement some regulars and make them feel great about it. So any chance you get when you slow down, come by, just chat with the table a little bit, make them feel really special. Okay, and then we're almost done here. I promise, but there's a few loose ends we need to tie up, a few questions that need to be answered, and this is a training, so I want to make sure that you're fully trained on how to implement this if you choose to do so. So I want to talk about the what I call the pre-step steps. So we have the seven-step customer service plan, but there's a couple things you need to decide before you implement that. I have my recommendations on how we should do this. That's no secret, but it's your restaurant always, so you do what you need to do. So what we're going to talk about here are sections or no sections, also called stations, some people call them, and then section tips or shared tips. So do you do traditional section tips still, or do you share it with everyone? Okay, so first off, let's talk about sections or no sections. So I like what's called fluid sections, which means you're still going to have a, sign, uh, a server assigned to section tables, but everyone's going to be working together for all the tables. Okay, this promotes teamwork, and when it comes down to it, if you have like some tables way back in the corner, with everyone working as a team, people might assume that they've been taken care of by someone else. So we need a captain of that section to make sure, hey, you're assigned to go by and make sure they haven't been ignored at any time. Is everything okay? So you're still going to have that little, you know, assigned sections so no one gets ignored, but everyone's going to be helping everyone, just like the system we just talked about. Okay, and that way, no table gets left behind. All right, and then next... Section tips or shared tips, I, of course, highly recommend shared tips. It just promotes so much teamwork when you're coming in. In this industry, no one bitches and complains more than servers do and bartenders. Okay, and I was one for a long time, so I totally get it. But you're coming in, and every check you pick up from your table when they leave, you're like, what's the percentage? And you're just so focused on analyzing that, and it just makes or breaks your shift. Now you're coming in, everyone has a common goal to get that percentage up as high as possible, communicate, make everyone happy, so we all can bring the tips up and we all share the tips. The only time this doesn't work is if you have a slacker who's in the back texting or out in the back alley, and you're like, why am I working my butt off so they can earn the same amount of tips that I do? So I totally get that, but... This is a system. The employees are supposed to run the system. It's your job to make sure that the employees are running the system. So that's your job as a manager to make sure they're doing it right. So you're on top of them to run the system. They go run the system. Okay. So like I said, it promotes teamwork, everyone working toward a common goal. And then uh, the, the employees work the systems like we just talked about. So now that we've talked about all that, how do we separate the tips? Right, so it's even. So if someone's there longer, obviously they need to make more tips than someone who got cut early. All right, and many of you may already know this. This is how bar most bartenders work. Um, but let's talk about this. Let's say we're gonna make this simple. We're gonna have three employees. Let's, maybe it's a lunch shift. I'm gonna say Sally worked six hours, Gary worked 5.5 hours, and Jane worked four hours. Okay, and let's say that during the shift, uh, so that's 15.5 hours, and they brought in $375 during the shift. Okay, so here's how this works. We're going to go $375 divided by the total hours, and your hourly is going to be 24.19. All 
Okay, so we're going to multiply the hourly times how many hours that each employee worked, and that's how much money they're going to make. So Sally works six hours. You multiply that by 24.19. She's going to make 145. Gary's going to make 133. And Jane's going to make 97. So at the end of the shift or the end of the night, uh, the manager is going to tally all this up after they put their hours in, and then they can put their tips in the envelopes, and they can pick them up later. Everyone's sharing tips. Everyone's working toward a common goal. But the people who are there longer, uh, they make more money. And then finally... The last thing we're going to talk about, uh, the POS system. Uh, many of you might be wondering, well, how do I get all my sales from Order Patrol into the POS system? There's a couple of ways. You can integrate directly with your POS system, and Order Patrol integrates with a lot of POS systems, or we can contact the company um, directly and, and hook you up with that. And the other way is to just enter them into your POS system manually. And I know that sounds like, like a lot, but when you run a sales report for Order Patrol, it'll tell you the quantity for each one. So some people do it at the end of the night, but most people... Uh, we'll do it at the end of the week. So you don't have to do it four times per month. It takes like 10 or 15 minutes to, to enter the all the data. You're entering like, you know, 81 cheeseburgers, 51 pepperoni pizzas, 24 Cosmos. Uh, just going down the list, take you 10 or 15 minutes. If you do it four times per month, that's like 40 to 60 minutes per month uh, entering the sale. So it's really not that big a deal. Okay. Whew. I know that was a lot. But I felt like you needed a little mini training on this new customer service journey to see how it can really help you revolutionize the way you run your business and the way you make more money. In the end, I hope it helped. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I want to thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.